Illinois Central Railroad v. Illinois, 1892. In 1869, the Illinois legislature passed the Lakefront Act, giving Illinois Central Railroad Company title to 1,000 acres of submerged lands in Chicago Harbor. This was to entice the company to build a train depot and other improvements in Chicago. In 1873, the Illinois legislature repealed the Lakefront Act, taking away the railroad company's right to build on the submerged lands. Illinois Central ignored the repeal and continued construction. So the Attorney General of Illinois filed suit in state court that the repeal was valid and that the state had title to the submerged lands. Illinois Central moved the case to federal court on the grounds that the state of Illinois interfered with a contract and did not grant the company just compensation for removing its rights to the lands, both violations of the U.S. Constitution. The Federal Circuit Court ruled in favor of Illinois on the grounds that the land had not been taken from the railroad, only licensed to use the lands. The railroad appealed the lower court decision all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a four to three decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the state of Illinois did not have the authority to grant title to submerged lands in navigable waters. The court ruled that the state holds submerged lands in public trust unless the grant does not impair the public interest or the grant improves the public trust. Since none of these exceptions applied in this case, the court ruled that Illinois Central Railroad did not have ownership of the submerged lands. This case creates the public trust doctrine.